Hello all, welcome to ratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create an expense report from the Fusion application as well as the REST API. Let's get to agenda. The first thing is we just need to understand a basic information about which expense report and under which view it is there. What are the approaches we have in Oracle Fusion? And how do we create an expense report from the application? And how do we create an expense report from using REST API? The underlying table details, as well as how do we validate the expense report? The first thing is when you want to create an expense report, we need to understand which particular expense type we have to consider and whether that particular expense report is available for the BU which you want to work out. So we'll not get into how do we configure and all those things, but in our case, we just want to understand on a high level, if you want to check out, do you, do you have a template or not available for the BU? Just navigate to the task, manage expense report templates. And uh, if at all, if it is not available, you create it. If it is available, just validate what is the expense report name, expense template name, and under which BU, whether the, does it have a BU or not, and check it out. And what are the different expense type it supports, okay? And now, coming next slide. Generally, as we know that whenever you want to create any data in the Fusion, we always have maybe a couple of options more also but in this case the first thing is from the ui yes from the fusion application front end we can create the expense report and using fbdi no we don't have an option to create an expense report using fbdi and then the available option the last one is using rest api we have a availability of creating a rest expense report using rest api okay now so how do we create the expense report navigate to your user login and click on me and then you can find out an expense tab. Click on expenses. And once you click on expenses, it shows a couple of tabs in the left side. The first, click on the first icon. It shows an expense report. Click on expense report. So this expense report will have a header and footer kind of section or header and kind of lines section, I can say. So the top level one, we call it as here. If you observe, when you click on create report, okay, a report can have n number of multiple lines, n number of lines, I can say. So when you click on expense report, it assigns a number. And you just mentioned what is the expense report purpose. And you can, if at all, if you want to add up any attachments, you add up and the payment method. And then you add up the lines here. So you can just click on create item and you can just mention the lines and you can mention the type, amount, and the merchant. If at all, if it is based on your credit card kind of thing, you can mention description. You can also add up the attachments. You can add up the location if you want to put, but you can, if you at all, if you want to divide the amount into multiple persons, persons, couple of options you have. Okay. So this is how we can create an expense report using a fusion application now the next thing is how do we create expense report using rest api so rest api it supports almost all the operations like a post get and patch also so we know that post operation is for the purpose of creating an expense report when i say expense report you can create an expense report with item also expense line also and similarly when you want to create when, you, when it has a create option, obviously, mostly it will have a get option also. So we can also fetch an expense report based on the expense report ID. That's a unique ID to identify expense report in the Oracle Fusion. And to get more information on the payload, we can just, you can navigate to this particular URL of the REST API in Oracle. Now, so how to fetch the data? As we said, it requires an expense report ID. So you can just mention the Fusion app so you can observe here the tool which i'm using is a postman tool using postman tool we can perform get operation as well as post operation also so the method we have to consider as get and followed by the uri of the expense report so till.com here right fa hyphen eudu till.com is my fusion application url then followed by the concatenated the uri of the rest service of get operation and then followed by i have concatenated the expense report unique id once you mention that and here in the authorization section mention the username and password and click on send that's it you'll get the data if at all if everything is okay in the below box okay this is how we can perform the get operation similarly and how do we perform the post operation so post operation as you know that it requires an input post operation is for the purpose of creating a record so in this one it's almost similar you have the fusion application url followed by the uri of the rest service and then in the body section you mention the json payload and click on send if at all if everything is okay it will create the data and 
provides the output in the below box. Okay, so in this case, it just created only expense report, not the expense line. I'll show you next slide where we create expense report with item also. So next slide, you can see here so the same post operation, but here I mentioned the high, the top five columns like a uh, reimbursement, currency code, expense report total, purpose, person ID. And here in the expense item, this one is the expense item. I mentioned the expense, expense template, expense type, and the receipt amount, location, description, and other one. Okay, so this particular logic is for the purpose of creating an expense report with item also. Okay, and uh, if everything is okay, when you click on send, it's the status you can observe is status 201 created, and you can see the response here. Okay, so this is called the the below one is called response and the top one is called request. Okay, request and a response. Request is an input, response is an output. Okay, now how do well like um, next thing is the table details. There are a couple of other tables available, but I just mentioned only the main tables. The first one is the expense reports, and the next one is the expense lines. The table name is exm underscore expense underscore reports. That is for the reports purpose, and for the lines purpose, exm underscore expenses, and the linkage between the header table. And a line table or a reports table and lines table is expense underscore report underscore id okay and if at all if you want to validate the expense report from the fusion application what you can do you can just click here you can see all the available right by default available or you can just search also click on see all and you can search it now let us implement all the logic one by one from the application as well as postman so i'll just navigate to fusion application so now in the fusion application just click on expenses And here you can also let us say if you want to search something, right? Just click on see all and you can search the expense report here, right? You can have a filter option, mention the purpose or amount or a couple of other options. You can have it. Expand the search. You can mention the search criteria. Now I don't want to do this one. So I just want to create a report, right? So just click on create a report. Now mention the purpose. I'll say or a expense report test there is a one and then click on create item and i'll just mention car rental 210 save and close or if at all if you want to create one more line also you can do it you can create multiple lines for a particular expense report now let us i'll i want to add up one more item let's say click on create item and I'll say car rental. I'll say 150. Click on save and close. Now what is happening? I created multiple lines for a given expense report. Okay. You can just click on save and close. And if at all, if you have a proper hierarchy, you can perform a submission. So this is how we can create an expense report from the UI. This is the one, right? This is what we created now. Let us perform the same logic via using a postman. So now before that, we can also check out the data from the backend. So I'll try to refresh my BA, BI. So I'll just click on reload. It's just a simple select start from the EXM expenses, EXM expense reports, and this is a per user table to identify the person ID of the user. Okay, so the expense report which we created was test 001, right? So I'll say test. So this expense report which we created, the first one. And you can see the expense report ID is this one. So I'll say, so there are two lines created here. You can see, observe here, expense report ID. There are two lines in the EXM underscore expenses table and expense ID is a primary key. Primary expense underscore ID is a primary key in the EXM underscore expenses table. Expense report ID is a primary key in the EXM underscore expense, re expense reports. Okay, so you can see the lines here. And this was a reimbursable amount, and it will get converted automatically based, based on the reimbursement reimbursement uh, currency code what we mentioned, and of, or based on the BU I can say. Now get into Postman. So how do we fetch the data? If at all, let us say if you want to fetch any of the expense report, right? So now I want to fetch my expense report. So this is my expense report ID. So I'll just copy here, mention my expense report ID, mention the appropriate credentials of the user, click on send. Okay. Okay. So maybe. I have to mention a proper username password. Okay, so we got the data. And if you want to get the expense lines, right? So 
we can just see we just need to mention child expenses slash child expense click on send we'll get the line data also and here of course you'll get the multiple lines as we just created two lines right so we got two lines here okay now how do we create it so to create it i'll just go to for oh, this one post expense report item so this one the first one payload is like without any line data let's say so i'll just say this one and this will create without line so now i'll just do the other one with line so expense item it's almost similar pay payload and just observe this with line okay only thing is we just mentioned the line data expense what is the expense template what is the expense type the receipt amount currency location and description that's it so it got created and how do we can validate so we can validate from the back end also so there are two expense items we created expense reports we created right so you can just also observe from here the reload okay so here if at all if the amount is you know similar right generally it raises a duplicate issue so it's the one with postman without line postman with line so this is what you know we can validate here okay this is all about creation of expense report using postman as well as from the application thank you